Hi guys and girls, so today I'm going to talk about Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law shows the relationships between voltage, current, and resistance. As you can see here, Ohm's Law can pretty much be summed up by these three equations. Uh, voltage equals current times resistance, current equals voltage divided by resistance, and resistance equals voltage divided by current. I drew a small schematic over here of a circuit to demonstrate Ohm's Law. We have a 1.5 volt battery and a 1 kilo ohm resistor, which is the same as 1,000 ohms. Uh, so let's use this equation here to demonstrate Ohm's Law. We have current equals the voltage, which is 1.5 volts, divided by the resistance, which is 1,000 ohms. So I is equal to 0 0.00 one five amps, which is the same as one point five milliamps, just like that. Here's uh, another scenario where you know the current through the resistor, you know the value of the resistor, but you don't know the voltage of the battery. So obviously, you use this equation: voltage equals current. 0 0.003 times 2,000 ohms. 0 0.003 times 2,000 equals 6. So V equals 6 volts. I'm going to do one more quick example here. So let's say I want to know the resistance of this resistor. I know the current going through it, and I know the voltage. Uh, for this, we would use this equation, R equals V divided by I. So R equals 1.5 <coughs> divided by 0 0.002 amps. Use the calculator. It's 750, so R equals 750 ohms. These equations can be a little hard to remember sometimes, but uh, fortunately there's a little tool to help you remember them. It's called the VIR triangle. It's drawn just like this. And to use it, uh, say you want to find a current, you cover up I, and then it's voltage divided by resistance. If you want to find resistance, you cover up R, and it's voltage divided by current. If you want to find voltage, you cover V, and you get current times resistance. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time.